Chef Karima Beckles is back on City Line to make another delicious Caribbean style dish. So this time she's making the fluffiest fried bake, which is a staple in Trinidadian households. Karima, I'm so happy you're bringing us just a little bit of the islands here because it's too cold and we need some island flavor. So please tell us a little more about this recipe. Okay, well, yes. So the fry bake, AKA float, is very similar in ingredients to the Jamaican Johnny cake or fried dumpling, right? It has the same exact ingredients. It's just that we make it a little bit different. It doesn't taste different. I've had bake and I've had dumpling, a lot of fried dumpling. And I'm, I'm trying to think, like, there's nothing that really distinguishes the taste. A festival, you can taste like it's a little bit more sweet, but between a bake and a dumpling, is there any difference right. in taste at all? Not at all. Exactly the same ingredients. From the salt, the baking powder, from everything is exactly the same. It's just the frying technique is, or the, or the kneading of it is a little bit different. Oh. Um, your uh, Johnny Cakes and fried dumplings are a little more dense where the float, a.k.a. fried bake, is a little fluffier. Mm-hmm. That's okay. the only difference. I get behind anything that is a fried bread, so I'm good with either or. or. And this conversation is already making my mouth right? water. Yeah, so we're going to show everyone <laughs> at home what they're going to need to make this recipe. Um, and it's super easy in terms of ingredients. You just need some flour. You need some baking powder, some salt, some water and oil literally that is it my daughter makes this all this time with uh, all the time with grandma this is what they do in the kitchen you can trust your kids to help you with the recipe it's easy and delicious all right karima uh if you're right, ready exactly. how do we start the recipe baking powder salt if you want it to get a, even more fluffier you can add fat like butter or margarine or even oil to the to the base but aside from that just some water Go for it and just put it down and let it sit and rest. I actually have one already um, ready to go in a ball. And uh, yeah, so you, you have it sitting there for about half an hour to an hour. You don't have to do it any longer than that. Why do you need to, to give it a chance to rest? Well, technically, I don't know why. <laughs> but back home, with, when, you're, you know, when your parents are teaching you, you got to clean as you go. So you let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. Clean up your little mess. <laughs> There's more science to it, of course, but that's what my mom told me, and that's what we're going with. <laughs> but yes, we let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then with that, which I did, I actually have one already rested nicely and ready to go. Okay, so it is rested. It has risen. We have cleaned. I clean as I go as well. This is what I was taught. What's our next step? Right. Our next step is to roll it out. So you're going to put a little bit of flour on the counter, right? And then you're just going to roll it out to about, see, they get all technical and say five to six centimeters in diameter and all that stuff. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, I just roll it till it's, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not going to, you know, I just eyeball it, right, to the, to the thickness that I want. And then um, you take your, your um, cutting utensil I like to I could use a cover mm. if you don't have a, a cutting cake cutter you know what I mean yeah, a cookie yeah, yeah. cutter you can use one of those I just roll it out and then I just take my little circle or anything that you want and uh, you put it in your hot oil and you fry it up and it's ready to go Okay, so talk to me about the hot oil part of this. Is that thing like blistering hot? Do you have it on a medium heat? Do you need it to be completely covered in the oil? Walk us through that part. Yes, so blistering hot to start off with. So you really want it to get to a nice hot temperature about 350 to 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, low it down because you don't want it to burn. And as you put it in with fry bake, your Johnny Cakes, anything, you want to flip it once and um and you can have it immersed so i'm using a cast iron dish right now but you can also use a deep fryer and it gets golden brown Ooh. and it's fluffy and delicious oh very nice okay <laughs> chef one other thing i wanted to ask you about the oil though do you does it matter what oil you use like do you have a favorite i like corn oil now if i'm cooking for uh, a lot of people avocado oils like those expensive oils you can't get them in bulk like that. Mm -hmm. So when I'm using it for other people, I use corn oil. 
Um, that's my favorite go-to. It's a, it has a nice fry temp, and it just makes everything taste really nice and light. It's a little bit lighter than vegetable oil, mm -hmm. but you can use any oil you like. Okay, I love that. Use any oil you like. Everyone saw how easy that was, but we're just going to talk quickly. We got to do a nod <laughs> to the salt fish because you know, a lot yes. of us are having our bake, our fried dumpling with, with salt fish, with cod fish. Um, talk to us a little bit about that. So, West Indians, as you know, Tracy, with our dumpling, our fried dumpling, our fried bake, whatever you want to call it, you have to have your salt fish. And if you're Jamaican, you have to have your ackee and salt fish. Mm -hmm. With some pear, a.k.a. avocado, with some provision, a.k.a. food, you know? And that's your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can have this anytime. Yeah, I have ackee any time of day. Any time of day, day or night, the ackee and the saltfish and a fried dumpling. Any day of the week. It's fantastic. Karima, thank you so much.